What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the Jester's Festival event here in the Elder Scrolls Online. We got the announcement a few moments ago. All the information about the event will be down in the description if you would like to read over it for yourself. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like. Make sure you check out everything down in the description like the merch store and of course the affiliate here on the channel Empire Jerky. And if you hadn't subbed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that sub button as well. So the Jester's Festival will officially kick off next Thursday, March the 31st at 10 a.m. Eastern and run until April the 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Of course, during this event, you can get XP buffs, earn event rewards, and complete Jester Festival quest. To join the festivities, you head over to the Jester Pavilions found in Ebonheart, Volkelgard, or Daggerfall and speak with one of the three Jesters there. If you're having trouble locating these sites, you can get directions by navigating to the Crown Store and picking up the Jester's Festival Invitation Quest. That will be a free quest that will be available in the Crown Store. After you complete the introductory quest, your reward of a Pie of Miserable, and of course that's a memento that can be used for two hours of a 100% XP buff. And you can use this as much as you want during the event. You will get that 100% XP buff. And of course after the event ends, it will just be a memento at that time. Of course, some of you may have this from past years, so you're not going to have to do that again. But if you are a new player, you will have to complete that introductory quest to get your, uh, you know, your pie to have that 100% XP buff active. There are several daily quests for you to complete during the Jester's Festival event, and each time you complete one of these event or one of these things, you will receive a Jester's Festival box for your good work. However, the first festival quest you complete each day grants you a stupendous Jester festival box awarding even more stupendous prizes all the boxes can include things like dazzlers cherry blossom confetti uh, pies some festival festive uh, kind of furnishings uh, jester's festival recipes uh, also some of these things that can be sold to vendors or just like some small items you can sell for gold and also this year the new caldwell's surprise box memento fragment in addition to the uh, mentioned prizes the stupendous Jester's Festival box has a chance to contain the following goodies. Uh, the Jester's Rune Box, the Cherry Bossom Rune Box, the Caldwell's Kitchen Weapon Style Page, the Joke Popper Fragments, Fragments for the 2020 Sovereign uh, Sopet, and also the new Second Seed Style Outfit Page, which will be available this time for the first time in the Elder Scrolls Online. And that is a pretty unique looking outfit. I think that will be pretty popular with a lot of people. As part of this year's celebration, they're also adding a brand new quest for you to enjoy. We got this last year. They actually added in a new quest because over the last several years, we had the same you know, couple quests to do. They added one new one last year, and this year we're getting, getting the band together. That is going to be the new quest. You can acquire this quest from uh, someone within the uh, festival pavilion. Upon completion, you'll earn an additional daily reward box. Also, this time... You're going to be able to get festive boxes aren't the only goodies that you get during the event itself. Three event tickets will also be rewarded for the first Jester's Festival quest you complete each day. Participation in each day of the festivities and you can earn up to 24 tickets before the end. But remember, you only can hold 12 tickets at a time. So you use those tickets as you, know, you get closer to 12. Make sure you're using them so you won't be losing tickets if you're already at the maximum. Uh, bring the event tickets, of course, to the event merchant. There will be all three Soulfire Dragon Illusion Pet fragments available. All three fragments of the Scales of Akatosh skin will be available. And the Bound Style pages for the Second Seed Outfit Style and Caldwell Surprise Box Memento fragments will also be sold there. So if you're still doing your fra fragments for the pet or the skin, those will be available, like I said, this time during the event. Also, Crown Store items during the Jester's Festival, you can get your hands on some new loony items from their in, from the in-game Crown Store, and, uh, including a new Gar Mount and an adorable Catwell pet. This is kind of a uh, Caldwell pet uh, kind of themed thing. There's a cat with the Caldwell hat on it. It's, it's kind of a crazy looking, uh, interesting pet that some of you may really like. And these will all go live on the server on April the 4th. Also... You can hit the Crown Store during the duration of the festival, a number of old favorites and returning things, including the Jester's Festival Music Box, Nightstick, Horse Mount uh, will be available as well. So some new things this year, some returning things to the store and some also some new items to the store. This is a great time to hop in, do some fun, goofy activities and gain some really good XP 
for that week. Like I said, this will be starting on the 31st of March and running until the 7th of April. So be sure you hop in, do your daily stuff, get your tickets, and have a good time and rank characters up in the process. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time.